Peace, this is Jarrell with Karma Consciousness. Today I want to talk about fully awakening your heart and upgrading your heart center, okay? I like to start off on this blog telling you the things that nobody else is going to tell you to work on and the things that you kind of have to discover for yourself if you're on the path and awakening and doing the work for yourself. Um, there are so many things that you should pay attention to and just being alive and awakened and in your own presence and in your own heart while you're on the physical planet earth at this time is it's an enlightening experience okay to put it nicely all right there is so many levels of polarity that you have to integrate into and balance and deprogram and reharmonize before you get to actually embody that core version of yourself that pure eye and presence however it's worth it when you do the work and when you listen to yourself, when you listen to your soul, it's very worth it, okay? I wanna talk about today how to get into your heart and actually make the connection into fully expanding and embodying into a cosmic creation force, okay? Because this is what happened to me, all right? Okay, so on this level of ascension, the way that there is going right now, basically we have is a planetary structure the planet Earth at the core, which is the sun, we'll say the lowest level of Earth is fifth dimension, okay? Which is 3D, okay? At the core of our planet, it's a fifth dimensional sun, okay? And when you expand out from there, basically we have our many, many, many multi-dimensional beings looking down at this little planet Earth and seeing the diversity and multiracial polarity and looking at how these children in this experience coexist with each other and how they learn their lessons and how they develop and evolve as individual human beings okay because that's the basis of being on this planet it's learning the lessons and doing the things that are most obvious that you should be doing like awakening and meditating and learning and working hard and doing things that pick people up around you and doing the things that make a better world and a better life for yourself and those around you, okay? Um, those are the things that these huge omnidimensional creators see when they look down on this little blue planet. What they see are people who are in their heart. When they're in your heart, you get that streaming direct connection to the massive omni universal creator version of yourself all right which is what i want to talk to you about today is how you actually get access to these beings who are streaming in looking down on this planet earth as this crazy awakening is going on right now in 2020 as crazy as it is okay you have to actually step into your heart okay you have to quiet your mind and you have to feel from your heart okay you have to expand your energy from your heart and you have to listen to yourself. There's a lot of distraction, there's a lot of commotion, there's a lot of frequency bouncing off the airwaves that will try to distract you from actually getting back home, back to your core, back to where you actually exist primarily before you're even born. All right, we'll just say that's the goal here. That's the goal, to actually live from there, living from the heart, being in your heart at least a couple times a day, and understanding that that is the core you okay that is who you are okay that is where you exist all right that's where you have existed that is your core resonance of frequency of what your personality is made up out of okay so when you figure out how to get into your heart which is isn't it isn't difficult at all all you have to do is breathe rhythmically and sense your own presence and align with your own presence in a pillar of light within a sphere of light and that's it okay and then you walk around that way that's it literally okay so when you do that you get to actually connect with very large beings 
and then you get a lot a lot of cool things to start to happen okay here's what happened to me okay I always talk about on this blog how you should actually connect with your highest Lyrian version of self all right now this high and Lyris, this highest highest Lyrian version of self is actually the the genetic programmer of the DNA genome of the human beings that exist right now on this planet so when you connect with this highest Lyrian version of yourself you're basically connecting to a genetic programmer version of yourself in the highest degree for the highest and best good okay so that's basically my go-to person or my soul stream so pretty much when you're in your heart all right you understand you have to understand how you are connected to the planet and how you are connected to the earth and how you are connected to the stars above you all is one all right at the core of the planet is a sun all right and because every human being is actually a star being that means you are actually a part of the planet earth okay and as part of the planet earth you actually become more of just your physical body your your physical energy body you, you start to become the entire universe okay you start to become the stars in the sky you start to become even more than that all right so if you understand yourself as your fifth dimensional version of self you basically have a fifth dimensional sun under your feet at all time as the planet earth all right and if you understand yourself as your higher self you have their version of the planet earth under your feet at all times compounded around that fifth dimensional planet earth it just compounds up okay so basically what i did was i connected with my highest clear version of self and i put his version of earth under my feet okay just around just superimposed around my core version of earth okay and here's what happened Basically I had a huge heart awakening. Basically what I saw was a heart and I was just beating and beating and beating and beating and beating and it's kind of like you unlock and you begin to embody that core universal heart frequency of yourself, of your cosmic self. Okay? Now the cool version, now the cool part about this is that you actually run the planetary grid now because you are the planet Earth, okay? If you have a dimensional controller who is of the highest and best good that genetically programs human beings in the highest best degree that they possibly can for the most optimal highest timeline then what you have is an unstoppable force at your hands at your fingertips okay because under you you have their version of the planet earth and above you you have them looking down at you saying okay son what do you want done here on this planet earth and you say, okay, well, I want this moved out of here. I want that to stop bothering these people. I want this type of frequency to exit these homes in this area. I want this to go. It's like you have total and complete control power on an etheric level. Because what ascension is, is what they don't tell you is 
is a dimensional shift. Eventually, it's going to get to a place where 3D is going to become a lot less dense, okay? And it's, become, it's going to become more energetically thin, okay? Meaning the 3D physical world is going to start to layer under the multidimensional worlds. So you'll be in a place and then you'll start to see things materializing over the third dimensional reality, okay? Now to prep yourself for this is to do what I'm telling you, is to connect with your higher self in your heart. So you have power to govern this level of density when this reality starts to hit, okay? Because it's coming, all right? Now, like, that's what the shift is. That's what ascension is. It isn't just 5D, all right? You're moving up and out and you're going and staying with the core version of yourself as your I am presence all the time. You always remain yourself. However, there's a lot of good things that come with that also, okay? Because now in 2020, there's so much things that are happening, there's so much things that are going on, and there's so much things that you have to like watch out for, you know, oh what, like the food's being poisoned, the air is being poisoned, the things going on around the computer systems are being poisoned, everybody's got a mind control device in their hand, uh, the politics are com completely taken over, you know, as far as in other areas of the world like there's there's so many things that are going on like you just have to remain in your hearts and to just ride it out all right So these are the things that I like to share because they happen to me, all right? They happen to me and they always happen in a level of synchronicity where it's like, oh, well, I've seen that before also. So I also, I just get lucky sometimes. I'm like, oh, I've seen this happen on this thing that I saw, this animation that I saw before. So it's like, if you don't do the work, you have less, you have less reference experiences that you can look back at and be like oh well I know this from this or I know what happened here based off what I read in this book that's why I always urge you to make your own to make your own discernments about the information that you come across anything that I tell you here always vet it with your higher self always ask your higher self if it's wise for you to do this at this time because you may or may not even be ready for it okay and then listen to yourself also. Stay in your heart because that's where your truth is. All right, peace and love. If you guys would like a session, I do sessions at quantumlight.org. I do numerology readings, energy coaching, light art, custom art attunements, and I have a shop up, quantumlight.org slash shop, hoodies, hats, tees. Get this t-shirt, this Puma energy shirt here. All right, that new hotness. All right, check it out. Talk to you soon. Peace and love.